Are we ready for sixth grade math? This is what you should have learned in fifth grade. You need to have learned to write and interpret numerical expressions. Use parentheses, brackets, and braces, and evaluate with them. Can you answer this problem? You need to analyze patterns and relationships, such as a sequence rule. Here we have a sequence here and a sequence here. Can you identify the relationship between the corresponding terms and make ordered pairs in a table of values? This has a rule of times two. Whatever's on the top, you multiply it by two for the bottom one. Can you do that? Can you recognize numbers and operations in base 10 and understand the place value system as times 10 for the next greater place or one tenth for the place to the right? Do you know to multiply times 10 to get to the next greater place value or divide by 10 to go to the next lesser place value? You need to perform operations with multi-digit whole numbers and with decimals to hundredths. Multiply, divide, add, and subtract multi-digit whole numbers and decimals to hundredths and read and write decimals. Can you multiply 326 times 14 or 3 and 26 hundredths? times 14. Can you recognize fraction numbers and perform operations? Use equivalent fractions to add or subtract fractions, multiply or divide fractions. Can you find the solution to these? Can you convert like measurement units within standard or metric? If you're given 9 pounds, would you be able to find that it was 144 ounces? Can you make a line plot to display data as fractions? Make a line plot with X's to show the quantities? And understand concepts of volume for solid figures like a rectangular prism and understand unit cubes and apply formulas for volume such as volume is equal to length times width times height or volume is equal to base times height and add volumes of composite figures to find a total volume. Can you graph points on a coordinate plane to solve problems? Do you understand and identify the x-axis and y-axis as perpendicular number lines and understand that x and y coordinates and the origin as 0, 0? Or graphing a point in the first quadrant of a coordinate plane? Can you classify two-dimensional figures into categories based on their properties? Do you know the properties of quadrilaterals, parallelograms, or triangles? Can you recognize the different types of triangles? Many of the lessons for grade 6 from 2012 are now taught in 5th grade. That means if you went to a school that used an older textbook and move to a new school district that's using new textbooks, you're going to have many missed lessons. And the fifth grade math course playlist is linked in this video's description so you can review and figure out if you missed anything. If you feel confident that you learned these concepts in fifth grade, then welcome to sixth grade math. Our first lesson is going to be identifying integers and their opposites. I hope you have a great day, and I hope you'll join me. Bye.